Supercharge your FPL experience with FPL Plus by FantasyFootballFix.com. Watch your arrows turn from red to green in real time with live rank points and bonus. Never be priced out of a transfer again with the new player price change predictor. See which players are differentials or rank droppers. Get your players predicted points and analyze their future fixture difficulty, as well as their ownership statistics. Download FPL Plus for free whilst in beta testing, available on the Chrome Web Store. Welcome back to The Watchlist, a weekly series where we take a look at three players who've become future transfer targets after impressing over the weekend. Leeds stunned Chelsea in a 3-0 win to maintain their unbeaten start to the season, with in-form Rodrigo and Jack Harrison combining for two of the goals. No midfielder took as many as the Spaniards' five shots in the box over the weekend's matches, with only Alexander Mitrovic able to better that tally across all positions, with eight. No teammate could better his 1.0 expected goal involvement figure during the game. Operating in a central striker role in the absence of Patrick Bamford, Rodrigo is the Premier League's top goalscorer at this early stage, netting four times. He ranks third for non-penalty expected goals, only trailing Callum Wilson and Erling Haaland. Leeds meanwhile ranked joint fourth for goals and big chances so far. Their next four opponents have each been given a difficulty rating of two, with home matches against Everton and Nottingham Forest particularly appetising. After bagging his fourth goal involvement of the season against Fulham, Ivan Tony ranks joint top with Gabriel Jesus for FPL points amongst forwards. The Brentford striker also saw a goal ruled out by VAR against the Cottagers for a marginal offside. So far in game week three, only Kane and Mitrovic have taken more than Tony's six touches in the opposition penalty box, amongst players in his position. The 26-year-old has had five big chance involvements over the opening three matches, and ranks fourth amongst forwards for expected goal involvements. Only Kevin De Bruyne can better his 1.24 expected assist figure across all positions. Brentford have scored eight goals so far, trailing only Arsenal and Man City, each on nine. Home matches with Everton and Leeds, as well as a trip to Southampton in the next four game weeks, make Tony a tempting prospect for those looking to play a game week eight wildcard. Wilfred Zaha took centre stage for Crystal Palace once again, scoring twice to help his side to their first win of the season at the hands of Aston Villa. The 29 year old racked up a game week high 1.44 expected goals total after converting the rebound from a penalty miss to score his second. No midfielder took more than his 10 touches in the opposition penalty box over the weekend's matches. Ending last season in fine form, Zaha now has 12 Premier League goals in 19 matches since the turn of the year. Only Harry Kane and Hyungmin Son have scored more in that time, each with 15. So far this season, his total of 5 big chances is a leading figure amongst midfielders, with only Mitrovic and Haaland collecting more across all positions. The fixture schedule gets easier for the Eagles from game week 5 onwards, where they face Brentford, Newcastle and Man United over a three-match spell. But their tie with Man City this weekend is looking slightly more promising after the champions conceded three goals and four big chances to Newcastle. <laughs>